Hello, I'm going to talk about high volume, low competition keywords today and the importance of doing the proper keyword research in the fastest, most efficient way possible to protect your return investment in all the resources that you spend doing keyword research in blog writing and content writing. So let's dive right in. So we're going to look at three different ways to do keyword research that's based in what we call Holy Grail SEO, high volume, low competition, which means you can rank quickly. Generally, if you, if you do the right ones and, and you understand what the competition is like before you start writing, because that has everything to do with, with uh, whether, whether you'll, you might rank or not. So, so this kind of keyword strategy is really good for startups, uh, new websites, websites that have little to no domain rating and brands that are in super competitive industries or any combination of those. So when you do a strategy like this, you can actually give yourself a chance to rank for blog topics. So I think uh, the common mistake most brands make is they just strictly use keyword volume for their keyword and topic ideation, which is the wrong way to go about it. You need an extra layer to determine to determine what to do. So let's dive right in. So there's three ways to do it. Uh, the first two involve actually having an idea for a topic, and then the third one invo involves just grabbing ideas off competitors websites which is my favorite idea and i'm going to use a specific tool to do the research ahrefs but at the end i'll show you how to do a lot of this with a free tool uh so you can so you don't have to to, to use a, a premium piece of software if, if you don't have it so let's take an example we did for for a client of ours we have a finance client and they wanted to cover the topic on on trusts so to go with the most generic topic, we typed in what is a trust, and this is this this example uses the, uh, the SERPs, so we just go straight to Google to start looking for topics. And so we typed in what is a trust, and as you can see here, I have some extra data points right here. This is pulled from the Ahrefs Chrome extension. So this search gets 18,000 searches a month. However, it has a KD keyword difficulty of 48, which means it's pretty high. And so if I look at the organic results of this topic, I can see the top result is bank rate. They are a domain rating of 89 out of 100, which is really high. And this post in particular has 63 referring domains. So not exactly a, a, a quick win there if I'm aiming for the same spot. And then if I kind of look down farther to see who else is ranking, Fidelity.com, 85 domain rating, Investopedia, 91, 244 recurring domains, 183. So this is not anything that really I want my small client to go after. So I'm going to skip this idea and, and, and try to find some more research. So after we found out that that initial topic was too generic, we still want to stay on the topic of trusts. And then we do a little more research and we find that why would you put your house in a trust is a little bit more manageable project to take on with the content. So we got volume of 350 and a KD keyword difficulty of five, which, which is definitely feasible in, in our ballpark, but we have to look at the results to, to determine. So the first ranking is a domain rating 27, which is not too bad, not a huge brand, and referring domains of six. So then you also have a pe people also ask section here. So you know, more or less, we're going to say, okay, well, this, this sounds pretty good. You know, right off the bat, 300 volume is not amazing, but what does catch my eye is that there's this post, the number one post for this ranks for 759 keywords. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me inside my tool. And what we see here is a ton of long tail traffic. So volume 150, 200, 1800, 200, 150. And you can see under position category, this post with a website with low domain rating and low backlinks to that specific post ranks really well. Look at all these decent volume and high rankings. So we can assume that this is a pretty good topic for a client, provided it is contextually relevant to the services they're providing. So I'm going to have my content team do some research on this, and we're going to go after this topic for this client. So that's one way to do it. So the next way to do it is inside Ahrefs tool itself. And let's say 
we want to go after the topic garment bags just to go after something of a different industry. And we're going to use the content explorer tool that they have and see what kind of topics that, that this tool generates for us to see what kind of blogs have different metrics that, that we may want to analyze. So when we get to this tool, we can see already that there's a ton of pages to sort through over 11,000. So what I want to do is filter it out. So I only want to see pages that have over 500 keywords that they rank for. So I'm going to apply that filter. So we see some pretty good, only 135 pages now. And usually you can, you can quickly look at the top here and you can even filter this down even more if you want to, these additional filters. But for me at 135, that's probably good to be able to go through pretty quickly. So the first ranking right here, site has a domain rating of 55, and the blog itself only has two referring domains, but it gets over 7,000 visits, or seven, it ranks for seven, over 7,000 keywords. So I'm gonna take a closer look at these keywords in here to determine maybe if there's some topics in there that I would hit with a blog post. So we just pay attention to what the blog post is, 14 best garment bags to buy in 2020. And so they're really just targeting primary keyword garment bags, but best garment bags and then to buy. So they're kind of adding a couple of things here. And what we're seeing here is of the several thousand, some of the top ones here, uh, keyword difficulty, only a seven for the main keyword. They rank number three. Garment bags with an S, 5,000, suit bag, garment duffel bag, all these different variations of garment bags that they rank pretty well for that have a lot of volume and have a low keyword difficulty. And just to go back again, they only have two referring domains. So this means that if we write a really good post, maybe similar to this one, maybe you do 17 best and you try to build, you know, twice as many links, you know, you might, you might have a really great chance of outranking this site and stealing some of that traffic that they're generating for. So that's, the second strategy, and I really like that strategy as well, because it really gives you an idea of, of what you're doing. So, of course, you need good content writing here, and that's for a different topic, but at least, you know, you get the ideation portion down with what we're talking about today. So, the third way to do it is, the favorite way to do, to do some content marketing is, is just go to competitor sites and steal their best content by filtering down how competitive it is. So, Let's say we're back in the finance industry for the finance client. Again, one of the most competitive industries that exists is finance. Anybody who's ever done SEO in this industry knows that, you know, there's a lot of companies that have been doing this really well for a long time, like NerdWallet. And it's, it's tough to find content just off the bat. So why do the legwork when you could, they, they've already done it for you. So, um, so I'm going to go to NerdWallet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate all their keywords. So brings us to this page. And so from there, I'm going to filter my results down to a uh, keyword difficulty of, of a max of 10, which filters out all the super competitive keywords and only goes to the ones that are 10. So if, if you only want to go after really small keyword difficulty type searches, you want to use that filter. I mean, you can go down less, you can go down to five, but sometimes I find that that is just, there's not enough content there. So after we do that, then you can just look at topics and then determine if they would be relevant for your site or your client's site. And so right off the bat here, look at this, this, this number one, how to fill out a money order. So a lot of these have a keyword difficulty of seven, has a volume of 23,000 and NerdWallet is ranking number one for all these different keywords, uh, variations. So you might say, you, you know, you, you, you might be able to go toe to toe with NerdWallet or maybe rank second and that. That would still be good, too. I mean, you have to look at their blog and then determine. But the point is, it's not super difficult keyword and NerdWallet itself only has 22 links. So maybe if that's something that is really applicable to your business that search this blog then you would want to go after that keyword. So that's just one example. And, you know, you can just you can sort down and look at all these different topics that have relatively low keyword difficulty according to the filter that you use.
So that's the three ways that we use a lot of times to find high volume, low competition blogs, keep in mind, long tail keywords are also part of it. Just doesn't have to be your, your main root keyword that has the high volume, but the combination of all of them can mean a lot of, a lot of traffic to your site. So if you don't want to use this tool, if you don't have this tool, then you can use a tool like Uber Suggest. It's on the neilpatel.com website. I'll, I'll leave the link here in under the video in YouTube. And you get somewhat similar results. So, for example, I threw best Garmin bag in here to kind of go back with that search that we did on Garmin bags. And you can get some pretty good data here of search volume, difficulty, and what people are paying cost per click. And then what, what this tool also does, which is pretty cool, it gives you all these little subtopics. And this is SEO difficulty over here that tells you how difficult it is based on their algorithm internally. So you can use this tool and you can also throw URLs in here to reverse engineer clients content as well. So if you don't want to use Ahrefs, come to this tool and, and check that out and you can employ some of those same principles. So that's it. If you want to uh, dive, me to dive into how to create blogs using this kind of information next time, then leave a comment and, and let me know. Thanks for your time. Bye.